Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today because, look at the screen, what are we gonna do? What are we doing, what are we doing? We are starting our first seeds of 2021. Yay! So I thought today I would bring you along to start the first little bit of seeds that I'm gonna do today. It is January 22nd, if you watched my last video. No wait, today's the 21st. <laughs> It's not, I'm a day ahead, baby. It is January 21st. By the time you see this, it might be the 22nd, but I'm actually a day ahead. So tomorrow marks the 12 week mark. If you watched my last video, I talked all about finding your growing season, finding the week marks and all that jazz when it comes to seed starting. I try and grow 100% from seed. Um, last year, I think um, I had to get a couple pepper starts because we got that light, that late um, May freeze and it killed some, not all of my pepper starts. So I did do a lot of um, peppers from seed still. And I even direct sowed some late, like in May after that freeze directly into the ground and I got peppers from that. So I know a lot of people start super early on peppers, but I, those plants that I literally direct sowed into the soil still did very well for the season. I am in zone 7A. That is my grow season. Um, so today marks the 12 week mark and I'm going to be planting some um, leeks and some onions using a high density method. But I wanted to show you what I'm using for my seed starting section this year. Last year my husband had built me a greenhouse for Christmas and it got me through the seed starting season and then because it was our first time building anything like that. It just didn't hold up to the wind that we had here. And so it ripped apart and it was just, it was absolutely chaotic. But I do have some videos where I was out in it a bunch. I miss it. I don't know if we'll build another one on this property. We might, but for now, this is what I've resorted to. So I'm gonna show you what I'm using this year. So I have this baby set up in my laundry room. This is just an indoor greenhouse on Amazon. I will link it below. It was so super to put together. Um, my husband actually got it for me for Christmas knowing that I wouldn't have a big one to start. And it has four levels and zips closed completely. Four shelving units. I have an extra heat mat that I will use for germination. And then I also bought, this did not come with the greenhouse, these bar strip lights. Now, I don't know 100% if this will be the only light I need. We may have to, um, you know, tweak that as the season goes on, but I'm hoping that maybe there'll be enough. So it has a light on each shelf, so that gives me four opportunities to put stuff in to grow right there. This was super inexpensive. It was like less than 40 bucks. Um, so if you're looking for an indoor option, you're getting ready to start seeds. It is not too late to look up something like this on Amazon and uh, use it indoors this year. Now, a lot of people do put these directly outside and use them that way. Um, it's super light, super portable. So I could carry it at some point outside. It would have to be super um, securely sound though to get through anything um, weather-wise here because uh, like I said our wind is so bad it basically ruined the real greenhouse last year and so it would just pick this baby up and fling it like a rag doll. So um, I will probably keep it in here and I will be in the the I don't know the word I'm looking for, I'm blanking out. The process of moving seedlings in and out, in and out, like I did all year last year because the greenhouse wasn't heated, so I still had to bring them in um, at night. And so I see a lot of that in my future. I'm sorry, the lighting just changed weirdly. Oh, let's plug it in so I can show you. Okay, are you ready to see what it looks like plugged in? Three, two, drum roll. You know, uh, National Lampoon, joy to the world. Da! So there it is in all of its lighted up glory. Four levels. Um, 
Like I said, I don't know 100% that this will be enough light or if I will have to modify it at some point. Um, but if I am bringing stuff in and out, in and out on the warmer days, you know, there, then I won't have to stress about it. I don't know. We'll play around with it. We'll see. Um, but this was a, these lights are super nice. They came with like three ways to mount them on things and, uh, they seem to be super good quality. So I don't know if it'll be enough, but, uh, we'll just play around with it. All right. So I am going to be using the Jiffy Organic Seed Starting Mix. Um, I, you know, I try to grow as organically as possible. And so I like that the seed starting mix is organic. And then I am planting onions and leeks today. So I've got my little seed carrier here. The leeks I will be growing this year are American flag leeks from MI Gardener. And then I have a couple different onions. Um, I have a hybrid granix yellow onion. These are old, so if these germinated, it would be, well, they're not as old as I thought they were, but still. Um, a Texas grano, so I'll probably go with this Texas early grano instead of the old one. And then I have a, oh, let me hold that up for you, Texas early grano. It's also from M.I. Gardener and then a Southport White Globe. I also want some purple ones, so I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and look for some sets as they come out or um, just kind of hold off on that. But I am sowing <sighs> onions from seed are like one of the hardest things to do, I feel like. They are just... Um, they're one of the harder things to grow. So a more experienced gardener usually has better luck. I haven't had much luck from seed the last couple times I've tried. I did have good success with the sets last year, which some people argue that, you know, the sets aren't worth it. They, the onions don't bulb up as big. Mine were pretty. I was super happy and super impressed. I wish I had planted more. Um, but I, I, I went into it thinking negatively and thinking like, okay, these probably aren't going to work because people said that the sets didn't work, but they did. Um, but I would still like to successfully grow them from seed. So I'm going to be doing a high density method. What's, what's the carton for, Kate? Um, I have a friend on Instagram who sells a lot of things, um, in, uh, these kind of like cardboard paper cartons just to reuse um, stuff, uh, less waste, you know, you get more use out of it. And you can densely plant onions and leeks. Alliums, chives, those kind of things, they can be densely planted and then you can separate them when you put them out into the garden. Their roots are different from a lot of plants. Um, they're not as wiry, wiry and they don't break as easy. And so onions are really the allium family, onions, leeks, chives. Um, all those things are easy to pull apart and separate without damaging them. So I'm going to plant an absolute ton in here <laughs> and see what we get. Um, and that's going to be like my high density. This whole thing is going to be a bunch of leeks. And hopefully just like doo -doo -doo -doo, they all pop up and then when we're ready to transplant them into the garden i'll be able to just grab a chunk divide them up and stick them into the ground so this is what kate is doing i went ahead i went ahead and turned the light off for now uh just because it was kind of blurring me out so filled this with some dirt that i moistened from the sink and i'm going to take my leeks I'm already falling out of the packet and I'm literally going to pour a ton. I'm probably going to use that whole pack. Um, there's a couple missing out of there and I'm literally just sprinkling them into the dirt. I know you can't see. Um, just kind of pressing the dirt down to make sure it's even and then sprinkling them in. And I will not cover them with much soil. Um, onions, for me, onions 
any kind of alliums. I just have a hard time um, getting them to come up, which a lot of the time I'm doing it outside, so that might be like part of the reason. But I am literally just liberally sprinkling them everywhere and anywhere in the container. And I'm going to do that with the rest. hard to see them because they're so tiny. I'm trying to make sure I get like all the area covered. I'd rather use the whole pack and have, you know, some germinate or use the whole pack and then like if I don't plan out all these leaks, that's fine. I'd rather, um, you know, sow them all so that at least I have germination instead of just like being stingy with it and then you know nothing comes up i mean because these have to get started at this 12 week mark so this dirt this dirt smells so good <laughs> the smell of dirt and spring oh my gosh okay for the onions i'm going to do the same thing and very high density high densely plant these but i'm going to do this a little bit different because i'm going to get a little wild I haven't successfully grown onions from seeds, besides like bunching ones, but I'm also gonna attempt a succession plant. So I'm gonna high density plant a small section in this, save half, and then here in like maybe a month, come back and do another thing. So maybe I can succession plant some bigger onions this year. I think it's a good idea. I mean, I don't see the harm in trying to get, you know, some onions all year long, all year long instead of one big harvest. Um, so, I mean, that's what we're going to try to do. Well, I'm putting in these are the Texas, what is it? Texas Early Grano 502. It's a yellow onion. And then... I'll show you after I'm done how, I, how I'm going to mark this off so I don't like forget what I did. Okay, I didn't have as many of the white from where I've attempted onions in the past. So I don't know that I'll get to succession plant the white ones unless I get my hands on another pack. And I've kind of sworn off buying any more seeds this year. But maybe if I get the sets then I'll, uh, you know, sow a, a round of whites from the set. Last year I got a multi-pack so it had yellow white and purple which was really cool so i got some of each um so we might not succession plant the white ones from seed we'll just focus on the texas uh ones and i will show you what i'm gonna do right now okay so here's the texas and i just highly densely planted a ton of seeds in this section right here marked it off with a popsicle stick here's a section of white onion that i highly densely planted and then where i was going to succession plant two more i'll just leave this open for the rest of the texas um onions and then i guess i will probably plan on picking up some sets so that i can have some purple onions and hopefully some more white onions this season Okay, I'm going to set those up on the shelf. I also wanted to kind of unbox uh, these uh, trays that I just got off Amazon because they seem to be really good quality. Um, and I'll link them below as well. But they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 40 cells. And there's five, so that's 200 cells. They came with these, and these feel, you know, I've used a lot of, like, ones from the nursery and stuff in the past. These feel pretty sturdy. If you, you, you get a use, quite a few uses out of them if you, you know, take care of them, wash them, and put them up every year. It also came with little divots, which is exciting because I don't have one of these, but <laughs> I usually just use, like, a, a pen or something, but look, I have a professional little, like, divot thing to put my seed in and then I guess this is to help like scoop them out of the cells when they get bigger and it's time to you know up pot them 
So that's really nice that it came with those little like tools too. And then each one came with a tray underneath and for underneath. And they all have holes at the bottom so you can um, underwater feed them. You know, I'm trying not, to, I'm going to try and do that more this year because I feel like I had a lot of molding from spraying the tops and stuff. So I'm going to bottom, bottom water a lot of stuff. And then it came with the humidity domes too. So super nice. I don't know that I'll need these for inside the greenhouse. Um, especially if I zip it up, how warm it'll be with the lights and all that. But um, if I'm moving them outside and maybe it's not a super warm day, then I can use these. So that is just a really cool kit. Um, I think it was like under 30, which is not bad for 200 cells, five separate trays. Um, especially if you're doing like, I'm doing flowers this year. So I need, I need all these cells. So I just thought I would share that with you too. That's something new that I got for the station. And let's put these up in their new home. So this is the kind of gardener I am if you're new. Hot mess express always. So here we go. I'm going to leave them on the bottom because I'm going to put the heat mat on the bottom because it's easiest to reach the outlet. I did turn the heat mat on for some warmth. I won't turn the lights on until um, we start seeing some germination. Um, and I'm going to spray these in a second with, um, and some damp water, just the tops. And I think we are good to go. The Texas onion, Texas early grano, the white globe. What is this? White Southport white globe bunching. And then a whole thing of leaks. So I will, you know, check back in on future videos, of course and let you know how they're doing. Um, again, I won't be using these, this like kind of method for anything else. This is strictly for alliums, um, high density. Um, I don't think that I'll be, I don't know, flowers could work. Some flowers could work in this. So I might save a couple more of these containers and uh, I've got to get going. There's, there's a bunch more to plant. It's time to go guys. I'm so excited. Get warm, babies! All right, guys, that does it for today's video. Um, we have officially sown the first seeds for 2021. I'm so excited. I am still a little bummed out that I don't have my greenhouse. Um, I'll try and link when I started pepper seeds in the greenhouse. It was just magical um, from last year. But we will make do. Um, there's so much that is going to be going on. <laughs> this year in 2021 in the garden so many more flowers I am going to be putting out a tomato video here soon I'm just kind of embarrassed by the number of tomato varieties I'm going to be growing <laughs> so I just I haven't put it together yet but um I think so many people love growing tomatoes like I do so I need to get that out and let you guys know what is in store and why you should stick around and subscribe to this channel because we're going to have so much fun this year. Um, as always, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And there will be more sewing and more videos to come. So excited to grow with you guys in 2021. Cheers! Bye!